know. So, what I had to admit was that without them, certain opportunities could never have hmm, become possibilities, but they aren't. That there, there's no contingency directly linking me to them, except for the fact that in my free time, certain opportunities were made possible because that was my free time. Maybe if I wasn't working for them, I'd have had more free time and even more opportunity to do what I wanted to do in the fields that I wanted to work in the most. And for being picked on for what I thought people, certain people, I don't consider myself. Uh, I don't. Cons- I, I do not claim my childhood was a bad one. Uh, but what I don't publicly tend to do is make like uh, the equivalent of a of a, um, an award acceptance speech where I name people for certain things because. I feel it would depersonalize what's known between me and them. But anyway. Uh, the thing about Capital Chemists that I know, uh, the two of them together, that the faggot dance, Gary Cans and Roger Tall. It's like uh, it's like they're wondering if Freemason secrecy is is so strong a hymen that nothing could fuck them enough that the world know what they're doing, and and any man who would try would would have to go down some gay avenues of 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 thought that you know. Uh, a, a Christian monotheist that, that just got pedophile by Cardinal Pell is straighter than a Freemason uh, of the of the stat of of the kinds that I've known, and I'm I'm pati- I, I'm talking about Gary Kanz and Rog Tall, uh, and you know. <clears throat> One story would be uh, the day where the guy turned up with the fungal, he was spreading his toes on both feet, Um, spreading his toes open on both feet saying I have tinea pedis, tinea pedis fungal, it's a rapidly spreading fungal infection, I have athlete's foot, I have athlete's foot. And I thought Gary Cans was going to get him a cream from the back in the dispensary, but it confused me because he'd gone past the Schedule 3 section, which is where the str- hydrazole or the strongest uh, clotrimazole and hydrocortisone combination creams are kept. And he'd gone off and picked up a phone and, and he'd phoned uh, instead, um, I think it was the manager of the athlete's foot uh, footwear store in in uh, the Woden Plaza and he said look you've made you're not making our job our job any any easier or something uh, and that's well, that is, I guess, in a way, that's the other thing about the athletes. The athletes, athlete's foot is the name of a foot condition where you're, you have a fungus infecting your toes, skin and your feet. So, to name a, a shop for shoes, the athlete's foot, uh, Gary Cairns was intimidated. Uh, it, like in a paranoid as if he as if he'd smoked like 50 cones like the, we have worked very hard in making sure that we can conduct scientific tests 
while the scientific tests are passed off as the symptoms of an illness. That way we can study the human mind and anyone who reports their studies gets diagnosed as sick for the sake of their reports. We've worked very hard. And he had the shits at the o- this owner of the ath- and I don't think the owner of the athlete's foot store had uh, any knowledge, any old knowledge of capital chemistry or anything to do with them, and was completely surprised by the call. As I give like off, um, you know, shoes, shoes have soles. Uh, athlete's foot is the name of a fucking fungal infection of the uh, in between the toes tinea pedis it's it is not the name of a fucking shoe shop stop naming your fucking shop athlete's foot athlete's foot is the name of an illness your store does not sell souls we are cap cap this is capital chemists we were founded by two freemasons the athlete's foot does not sell souls The Freemasons sell souls.